Okay, guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you how we're going to uh, fill the Greek Rory uh, application. So we're going to go to DV program state, program state .gov. Okay, so we're going to go, of course, with the first option, and here it is. When we get to the website like this, the first thing that we're going to do is if your photo is, you're not sure if your photo is correct, then you want to check your photo. If you want to read the instructions, you can go over to this link and do that. But now we are going to start our application. So we click here. When you come on this page, what you're going to do is you're going to type the, the captcha here. You, you, you type in whatever um, information that is there, whatever code. If you don't see it, you can use this one, like the recycle one. You see, it says change the capture code. It will change it for you. If you cannot hear it, you can click here. Sorry, if you cannot see it, you can click here and then it will speak it for you to hear. So we click continue. Now we're going to type the information that we want to type. So we're going to do a do. Um, Felicia, and then this person doesn't have a middle name. She's a female. Now we're going to go to the date of birth. The person was born on February 14th. She's a Valentine lady. And then she was born in 1992. Her city, the town that she was born in is called um say crew and then the country where the person was born is done now number six country of eligibility for the DB program if your country qualifies then you leave it as it is yes but if your country doesn't qualify then you will click no and then give them the country that you you are borrowing eligibility from. Now, when it comes to photo, you click here and choose your passport photo. So here, um, one, this kind lady gave us a photo to do the testing, and now we're going to the address. Here is when you're using somebody's address, the address is not associated with you, affiliated with you. So here we're going to type something. I'm going to use the PO box. Okay, it doesn't matter whether you type in capital or um, in your, your doi. Okay, the region, I'm making a base. Savannah region. Guys know that I'm making a base information. In Ghana, we use region. In some of you, your countries, you use province, state, county, district, um, but in Ghana, region is the, the appropriate one. Here, the postal or zip code, many of the countries don't have it. Mostly it's European countries. Mostly European countries have this. The Western countries typically have this, but not, um, you know, some African, many African countries don't have this. Uh, United Arab Emirates, they don't even have a postal code. So please, if you are not sure, just click no postal code. They are not going to penalize you for that. So you're asking me where I'm located, uh, where this address is located. So I'm going to give Ghana. They're asking me what country do I live in right, right now, today, as I'm feeling. If I'm in Ghana, I will choose Ghana. If I'm not in Ghana, I will choose wherever that is. Now the phone number. You will start with your country code. Remember, this is not a zip code. If your country code starts with 233, you put 233. If it's 254, you put 54. 971, you put 971, and then you add your phone number. So I'm going to use Ghana. Now remember in Ghana we have 024, and then I'm making up these numbers, okay? On this application, you remove the zero. Because we don't need the zero there. Okay. Then we'll go to your email address. 
I'm going to put waffle tv at gmail.com. Guys, I'm trying not to select this thing. You have to type it again. You see, I know that my computer is giving me, so you have typed this before. It is this. Guys, I advise you type the thing by yourself. Because sometimes you may be bringing a mistake here. Now, when they ask you, what is the highest level of edu education you have achieved as of today? So as of today, I have bachelor's degree. I have some certificates, but they're not asking about certificate. I have some IT certificates, but that is not education. Uh, so I have this university degree. And then let's see. They ask for my marital status. Um, if you are not married, you have never been married, you choose unmarried. If you are married and the person is not an American citizen or doesn't have a green card, you choose the second one. If you are married and the person is an American citizen or has a green card, you choose the second one. If you're a divorced person, you choose this one. Widow or widower, you choose this one. Legally separated guys, see, they have explained it here. Okay. Um, they say, if you are not legally separated by a court order, you must include your spouse, even if you plan to be divorced before applying for the DV visa. Failure to list eligible spouses grounds for disqualification. Guys, don't play with this. I keep telling you. If your spouse is a US resident or lawful permanent resident, do not list him in your entry, all right? So if your spouse is a US resident or lawful permanent resident, you will click here, but you will not put the information on the thing, all right? They asked me for the number of children. I have two children. And guess what? I go to the next page. When I come on this next page, I'm going to type my children's name. Let's say my first child is Smith. Smith Jr. And his name is John. Doesn't have, he has a middle name is um, Audrey. Um, date of birth is June 6, 2006. Okay. It's a male. What country was born? He was born in um, what city? Now we're looking at city or the town he was born in. This is, yeah. So, guys, if I if I misspelled it, uh, forgive me. I'm just using an example. The country is Cote d'Ivoire. So let's see. Will we see Cote d'Ivoire in here? Yes. Okay. And then I choose the photo for my child. Please, one big advice I'll give to you is that when you're doing this, you must do what use their correct photo. You see, you can change that. You see this photo, it has all of these numbers here. You can rename the photo like this one. Let me show you something. I can rename and call it a peer. You see, now if I'm looking at the photo for my child, okay, I know that this is the one. So let's use this guy's one. He also offered it to us yesterday. So, and then now, you go to the next child, but I said I have two children, so they're asking me all of that. I said, um, Ensu, um, Lillian, Lillian, let's say, no middle name, was born September, as Um, 2018. Lillian is a female. The city was born is in East London. Okay. Well, was born in Lomi. I will go here. Where is Lomi? Togo. So I'm going to look for Togo. That's it. 
and then I choose the photo of this child. Please don't use your own photo. You have to use the different photos on there. But these photos that I have, they are not correct. That's why I'm not using them. So then you go back, you choose Lillian's photo, and then you put there, right? You click continue. When you get on this page, it shows you everything that you have filled on part one. This is my, the mother. This is my information. I'm a, I'm a, a married woman. I'm the one filling the application. So I filled my information here. Oh no, I'm a, a single mom. I'm a mother with two children. So I fill my information here. You see here, I chose that I'm not married. I put my children, they are three children. I have my son. I have uh, my son's information. I have my daughter information here. And then now you will click submit, okay? But let's say you are going to and realize that, hey, I made a mistake. Lillian wasn't born on September 1st. So let me go back and fix it. I go to page two. You don't cancel the thing. Go to page two. It's like, where is Lillian? Lillian's, uh, Lillian was born September 30th, I bet. Now I've corrected it. So guess what? I can do continue. Please page one is the page for the main, the principal applicant. Page two is for the people who are attached, whether the children or the husband or the wife, the information will be on page two. So now if I'm ready, what will I do? I'll click submit. Okay. Uh -huh. So guys, this is how you do the thing. That is all. When you submit, you get a page that will tell you that success uh, uh, submission, and it will let you know. Um, let me give you uh, some. It says when you when you are able to submit it, it will tell you DV 2024 submission confirmed, entry received, success, and then it will tell you. It will give you your name. It will give you a confirmation number, your year of birth, and then digital signature. Please, you must print that information, okay? Print that information because that is what you're going to use to determine if you are a winner or not come next year, May. okay? So guys, this is all that you have to do, all right? So I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to waste anybody's opportunity, all right? So guys, this is how you do it, all right? 